Welcome everybody. Let's have a great analysis of an amazing asset within the Solana blockchain. It's called Nosana, ticker NOS. It's a decentralized GPU provider. So you share your GPU power and in, in exchange you get NOS tokens. That's the big picture. But it's an upcoming project on the Solana blockchain that has quite a nice potential. It's still early on, but it's a project to keep an eye on. So we'll go through the daily and the weekly charts for Nosana. It's not very complicated. We'll go step by step for the beginners, and you'll see that it's fairly simple of an analysis. This is the daily chart for Nosana on TradingView. We have a nice base at three dollars you see it here this is the the blue line here and we are on the low side of that trend line we dipped a little bit but we came back quickly so this is called a fake out a trap you can call it many names it's just that there was a situation where it was a lot of selling and people oversold and another half of people saw the opportunity came back and grabbed the tokens almost at $2 and made the price come back to above $3. So $3 is the nice base for Nosana. Near that price, it's a great entry point, not financial advice. I know that it's boring, scary, and it's not very nice in the crypto world right now. But when there's fear, there's opportunity. Uh, and when you have a little bit of money on the side and you want to select a nice project, that's usually the best time to invest to maximize your returns. When everybody is on board and everybody's happy, most of the gains have already been made on an asset. Therefore, it's not an ideal situation to get in. So that's what you have to look at. So again, anything around $3 is a great entry. It's part of this upward trend line now we're trying to get above that trend line. We are at the trend line. The ME200 is at that trend line. It's not a coincidence because we have been following that tendency, that trajectory, and that's, and when you're looking at a daily chart, the ME200 generally gives you a long-term sentiment of the asset. When it's going up to the right, it means it's bullish. When it's flat, it means it's trading sideways, it's not going anywhere. When it's going down, it means that the momentum is bearish and you have to wait for some kind of bottom before to get in because that momentum usually brings the price down for a specific asset. In this case, the EMA 200 is up to the right and the trend line is at the same level. That's why I indicated that it's a very, very nice situation to get in. The MA50, however, is going down, and that's normal because we have corrected recently and we just recently bounced. Therefore, the tendency of the MA50, which is only the last 50 days, is to show you the sentiment on a short-term time base. So now what we expect is the MA50 to come back near the candles, so it's gonna probably come back here and turn around eventually if we break above here so that we the price will break above the MA50 and we're going to resume the uptrend. That's what we're looking for. That's one of the options. We could also trade sideways here, but in analyzing the whole market, we have been trading sideways for a while now, uh, post the halving. So we could be near the end of the consolidation. It could take it could take us still a couple of weeks, but the tendencies of trading sideways are going to be shorter time frame now. Some asset will start to move. Some will start to move before Bitcoin. Others will move with Bitcoin, and others will move after Bitcoin. So depending on the assets that you're following you will see that some will react quicker. The quicker ones have been like Solana and Solana associated coins, meme coins. 
So you have to look into them and see which ones will move first. And if Bitcoin follows, then you'll know that it's kind of a confirmation of what is to be expected. But for Nosana, at this stage, it's in a nice price zone to accumulate, to start a position, or to add to a position that you already have. This is the big picture for it. In my opinion, we will stay above $3. We could, be, we could go a little bit lower, but not significantly like we did here, because the ME200 is indicating that we still have quite a lot of momentum to the upside. In the last week, the coin has been up 50%. However, in the last month, it's down 6%, and the last three months is down 20%. So you see that the short term is bullish, and the mid to long term, up to three months, it's bearish. It's kind of normal. We have corrected, and many altcoins have corrected. So it's not a surprise that many are near support or below support at this time. Nosana is positive as being above support. As for the weekly chart of Nosana is extremely bullish. Curious phenomenon that you see here happened just recently. A big red candle and almost an equivalent green candle of the same height. So that, that represents the fake out that we saw in the daily chart where we corrected hard and bounced very quickly. So here, when, when this happens, you have to disregard these two candles up to the resistance here of $3 and you act as, as if it didn't happen. And this confirms the uptrend and tells you that nothing has changed. We are near support and we probably are going higher. The MA50 on the weekly chart here is up to the right in the same direction as the MA200 earlier. One thing to note, however, is that you see here the volume dropped quite a bit recently. And this, I guess, is the new and real volume associated with Nosana. So you have to evaluate volume, not based on what happened previously, but what's going on now with the associated price action to see if it's bullish going up or bearish going down. So at this stage, Nosana is showing very good resilience to be above the support level. It's at trend line and therefore a nice entry like I indicated. And we could resume the uptrend fairly shortly or trade a little bit sideways still but we are near the end of this consolidation for Nosana, in my opinion. We could bounce at any time. You don't know what happens. I don't know what will happen, but this is one of the positive assets in the crypto world. Again, Nosana has a lot of fans. It's part of the Solana blockchain that has a, a lot of momentum. So there's quite a few projects within the Solana ecosystem that are thriving. Nosana is one of them, and that's why I wanted to cover it here in the channel. Hope you enjoyed this overview of Nosana. It's fairly simple on what to expect, even for beginners. So you need to just look at the asset and see what it's going to do. Don't select a specific price when you want to get in or get out on the asset. It's better to select a zone because it's fairly difficult to select a specific price. And finally, as I indicated before, when everybody's fearful, usually it's a good time to get in an asset. You have to be contrarian. You have to be solid on your analysis and of what the project may do or will do in the future. It's always forward looking, meaning that we are going towards what's going to happen in the future. It's, rare, it's rarely backwards in terms of, oh, uh, we had a nice news a couple of weeks ago and that's why the price is moving. Usually it's the other way around. So that's why it's challenging. That's why it's not easy to invest in crypto. 
and select a few assets but that's why I cover here in the channel the most interesting assets that I found that I follow that I look into to give you an overview of the best ones I'm not gonna be right on everything but I hope the majority of the projects that we cover in the channel are successful in the future especially in this ongoing bull run so let's see how it will behave in the upcoming weeks i hope you enjoyed the nosana overview see you all on the next video